Penny, you can hear me. What we were doing out here, it, it wasn't just about doing right. It was about the future. If you can hear me, just live. Welcome to Knock Row Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And ladies and gentlemen, we have not had any fear content lately, but we're bringing Fear the Walking Dead content to you. And that is, how will Morgan be saved in Fear the Walking Dead Season 6? That is a very good question, and that is a question we want to give you guys and for you to let us know what you think. We have a couple scenarios that we're going to be going over to break down how it could happen and how Morgan will even have a story especially since they're going to be having a time jump. And we know that Morgan is not with Ginny, of course, because she left him to die. But how is his story even going to work out? Yeah. So we're going to go over a couple scenarios for Four, you to be exact. Yeah, so four <laughs> for now. If we think of more, we'll come up with some more later. Yeah, so this is four that we just came up with. And uh, we talked about it in a previous video, so there's a couple that you guys might already know. But let's get into it. Scenario one, AMC doesn't give a shit won't tell us, and won't go over it. That could be a scenario. Um, because of the time jump, the story that they want to tell, they may not even touch how Morgan saved himself. Now, you're probably asking, Josh, why would AMC do this? Why would they do this to us? There's no way. They've done it to us before. Uh, it's called The Dam. It's called Madison? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we're led to assume she's dead, but you never see her. Uh, but Morgan well, is not was, dying. That was more of a cliffhanger. But, like, yeah. they've been known, especially in Fear, the dam, to completely gloss over an entire event mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> from season to season. And I'm, so, sure, I'm yeah. sure the main show has done that, too, but not as big no as way. major events like this. But, I mean, scenario one... I, 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 it's I'm just, not buying it. I don't think they would do that. They would give at least a flashback or something. So Yeah, I just don't think with the type of cliffhanger that they left it at, Morgan mm -hmm. being that wounded, that you right. could just gloss over that. Yeah. So the second scenario is kind of far-fetched, but it could work a little bit. Morgan would his escape by himself, heal himself, and then go try to find everyone. It's plausible, but with the amount of blood loss, uh, I, he can barely walk right now. But yeah. he's got a lot of walkers coming to him, so he's going to have to make a decision to try to, you know, push the amount of adrenaline he has left to get out of there and see Cor what happens. Correct. This is assuming that um, he has no one to help him. Yes. So we are assuming that he gets up In himself, scenario, escapes yeah. himself, mm -hmm. and heals himself. And we're not talking magical healing here. No. He, we're talking about he mends himself from the wounds that he has. Now... It would be tough. I mean, a gunshot I, wound, you're going to have to pull the bullet out. You're going to yeah. have to, you know, what's it, uh, you know, stop the bleeding, sew it, mm -hmm. stitch it up. Does but, he have those supplies? But I, I completely agree with you. But <laughs> I, I think know. number one, if we're going down this scenario, is obviously the impending threat, which is the walkers coming at you. Right. So... He, I, you know, how can you, with the wound that you have, escape that? I think the only <clears throat> logical thing that he could do, but it would be really hard to, is crawl himself into the church, close those doors, and hope and somehow that, like, the latch would come down and leave it locked. Hope and pray that <laughs> you that, that you don't draw any more walkers from that gunshot yeah. uh, to your location, which... However many are coming. The yeah. hope and pray is a great segue into our third scenario. Yes. Go ahead. Yo, you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Rabbi Jacob uh, Kirshner, sorry. Kessner. Kessner, sorry. Yeah. Uh, saves Morgan. Yeah, so he was the only one that we did not see that was being taken away in Ginny's trucks. So I've had this theory that he stayed in the church with his gun. Maybe they told him, maybe Morgan told him to do this. He, he got out of the back of the church, hung around, or maybe he went away for a while, and Morgan said, come back in a little bit, and then maybe he comes back, saves Morgan. 
That's one really plausible scenario. Yeah, it's really plausible because, you know, obviously AMC made it a point or to show us every character being led away by Ginny. So every it's, single it, it, one. Except for the rabbi. So yeah. it's very plausible at this point that rabbi saves Morgan. I think that that's probably the most logical yeah. um, that we have in all four. And uh, I can't remember who pointed this out, but it was one of you commenters pointed out that said, hey, I rewatched that ending uh, numerous times. It was off of another feared video that we did. And they mentioned, I did not see the rabbi be taken. So I immediately pulled up the episode. I watched it and I was like, yeah, he, I, they didn't show him at all. Absolutely. So that's a plausible one. I think one. the last time we see him was during the wedding, and that is it. Yeah, that was it. So, guys, the last scenario is probably the one that's going to get the most attention and what's going to be talked about. So, it is now confirmed that the actress who plays Sherry, Christine Ev uh, Evang Evangelista, is returning as to play Sherry in Season 6. So... Would it be plausible that Sherry would save Morgan? Because at the end of season five in the finale, we got a little Easter egg from her with possibly her being on the walkie-talkie with Dwight. Yeah, now we don't know if that was Dwight hallucinating for fear right. of, you know, uh, famine. He, 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 you know, starving probably, not, not much water. Right. So he was on a long hot trek back to the armored truck. So we don't know if he was hallucinating or this really was Sherry. And maybe if it is her, maybe she... Um, because of the distance, maybe she saw some things. Maybe she was in the area, and then she's like, I'm going to go check this area out. Maybe this is where Dwight is, and comes across Morgan, saves his life at the last second, and then event, and then maybe she helps him heal. Maybe she knows some people that she's with that she trusts, and then he tells her about Dwight, and then they both go out looking for them. Yeah, maybe she knows about Ginny. Maybe she's maybe been she's, watching her. Maybe or, she's come across her. And, and knows about this group. Like, I think that... Assuming that uh, Sherry was on that walkie-talkie, then I think that Sherry is very aware of what's going on, um, or has to be. Could have been listening. Yeah. And and the one thing that one other Easter egg that we didn't get uh, confirmation on is how did Ginny know Sherry's name? She knew her name. Now we were led. To, I, we were kind of thinking, well, maybe uh, the guy who. Uh, Dwight let go, who was reading through the letters, maybe he told Ginny about her. Yeah. Ah, I, I don't know. It doesn't I've, line I've been, up. I've been trying to because think about it. Because he was never in contact with Ginny. That we saw. That we saw. Exactly. You but know? he was Logan's guy. Yeah. And, and we were kind of we were kind of led to assume that, that Logan really didn't have much communication with Ginny outside of knowing the plan. Right. And at some point after meeting up after getting the oil. Right. So it's possible that maybe <clears throat> Ginny knows about Sherry. Maybe Sherry... I don't know. I mean, because if you think about it, you know, people who try to escape Ginny, the one that we've seen, they were hunting her and trying, or hunting him and trying to kill him. And um, I, I don't know. I, if she was a part of their crew and she escaped and now she's just on the loose and Ginny was just like, well, I'm done trying to kill her. I just want to move on. I don't know. It would make sense too, but yeah. I think the Sherry one is probably going to get a lot of push. Like it's probably going to be like it's what everyone's going to think about. How you know, how are we reintroducing Sherry to see to fear the walking? I think Dead? it's a great way to actually introduce Sherry. And and mm -hmm. to be honest, if I'm going to pick any one of these, I'd prefer that one. And what what's interesting though is yeah, Sherry doesn't know Morgan. She has no idea who he is. I, I don't believe she does. I don't think she does because she was gone before the events of All Out War. So what's going to be cool is we'll get more Walking Dead Easter eggs. Because as she's helping him heal, he's going to be talking about Alexandria. Well, he's going to mention maybe, maybe Negan. Maybe he doesn't talk about Alexandria, but maybe he mentions Dwight. Yeah. And the conversation then, obviously... She opens up and says, I was exactly. I was one of Negan's wives. I was you with know Dwight. What? I would absolutely love that. Yeah. Now, yeah. most people are like, you know... We don't want a lot of Walking Dead mixing in. They're doing these crossovers again. But just little Easter eggs like that of Sherry mentioning about, you know, she was with the Saviors and all that. It's just little nons that are cool with us that we enjoy. Well, so. and, and here's another thing is that Sherry possibly doesn't, not possibly, for a fact, doesn't know that Negan and his group was taken down. Mm -hmm. So it would be an she amazing... I would love to see her reaction when Morgan reveals to her that they won the war and Negan was captured. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be sweet. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I, 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 I honestly can't think of another scenario that would work regarding a person saving Morgan, unless it's just some new character they're going to bring in and they're just a 
short-term character that saves him? There, there is one other character that we've mentioned before that we did not include on here, and that is the gentleman that, that uh, Dwight saved, um, that had the conflict with him, that was caught in the middle of the road, and um, uh, we never saw him again after that. And, yeah. and that's kind of why we mentioned him in a previous video, but we did not put him in this scenario because... Even after Dwight let him go, he went he, right back to he, Logan. So. If, if this was Dwight in the scenario, that would be awesome. The yeah. guy saving him after yeah. he's, after Dwight saved this guy. Right. Uh, but with Morgan, it just doesn't really line up. It wouldn't really fit. So, yeah. I mean, we are super excited for Fear of the Walking Dead to return. I think it's going to be a great season. We know from uh, Scott Gimple's comments, it's going to be a lot. You know, they're going to be moving around, showing little 16 small little episode stories of all these, all of our characters who are split up everywhere. So I just hope it's done really well. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of used to that with like Westworld, Game of Thrones, always switching around. But can it really work with fear? You yeah. Know, with I, a TV show like this. I, I definitely like the idea and we'll see how it plays out. The problem with this is when you get a thing, when you get a show like Game of Thrones that jumps around. They have time to set up those locations. Right. And we're jumping into a season where we don't know any of those locations short of seeing them on a map. Right. Yeah. Um, so there's not really that much time to develop the story. Yeah. So let us know in the comments your thoughts, guys, of who will save Morgan Jones in Fear of the Walking Dead. Make sure you smash the like button. Feel free to subscribe. Stay tuned for more Fear Walking Dead news from us. I am Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're not for nation. We're, we're out. out.